everybody. Welcome back to Bill and Ray's show. I wanted to do a little rundown of my, my uh, project tag that I've been trying to create. And I finally had success. And this took me weeks to figure out. I had seen online where you can just spray paint black paint onto metal and then use the laser engraver to etch your pattern design. And that will remove the paint in the areas that your design is, and then you can run that through an electro etch or even an acid etch process to etch the pattern into, in my case, these brass plates. Well, I tried various different black paints, different laser settings, running it multiple passes, and I, I just could not get the right combination where I could clean out the pattern and then do a proper etch with it until I found, um, it was on Reddit, there was a post that said to use lacquer paint, that you have to use lacquer paint for these, at least for these blue laser, uh, diode laser uh, engravers. It would etch the other paints, it would seem like, uh, I mean, engrave the other paints, it would seem like, but uh, it just never got down to the bare metal. So the process, usually you have a residue of some sort after the laser uh, has done its thing. And you've got to be able to clean that residue away without disturbing the rest of your painted surface. And that's what I would, kept running up against. I was scrubbing or cleaning too aggressively and then pretty soon the other paint was getting attacked and, and messing up the design. With the lacquer paint, I could clean it with a lighter fluid. is a sort of a medium aggressive solvent and that seemed to really do the trick. I could scrub at it pretty aggressively to clean out. It seemed like it was down to bare metal when it came off the laser. But it, it wasn't. There was a thin layer there. And um, then I finally uh, was able to clean out what appeared to be some easily cleaned, uh, relatively residue off the surface where the laser had done its thing and um, but then when I went into the etching process I'm using an electro etching process using copper sulfate and um, I was starting off kind of gentle with it just to see if it was if I was fooling myself it was really down to bare metal so I had it at a pretty low voltage and uh, ran it for a little while and it seemed like the whole thing had discolored where the pattern should be and I took it out see what was going on and I, I used to just hot water and scrubbed at it with a brush and all that dark uh, material went away and then it looked like bare metal it looked really shiny bare metal and went back into the electro etching process and I ran it um, it was a fairly weak copper sulfate solution just enough to get good con conductivity and uh, I was running about 10 volts, uh, about half to three quarters of an amp, and ran that for about an hour and got a good, clean, deep enough etch for the process that I was looking for. And what I've got is um, a copper wire uh, coil just heavy ground wire copper, and that was uh, cathode, I think. <laughs> I get mixed up in cathode and anode all the time. So the plate is attached to the positive of your supply. In this case, I've got a just this basic little uh, lab power supply that I can adjust and control either the voltage or the current. And, um, and then the back side, you can see it left quite a, a mark on the back side, but I don't care. I just used this uh, aluminum. This is just a heavy gauge aluminum wire that was actually part of an old satellite dish ground wire, I think. And I just fixed it to the back with tape, electrical tape, and that gave enough of a contact. And the aluminum won't enter into the electro etch. It doesn't do anything to the aluminum. It doesn't care about that. It's not eroded or plated. Um, then I was able to uh, clean off the rest of the lacquer paint with acetone. comes right off with acetone. 
But the lacquer paint made a really nice, solid, clean, um, protective surface. And then I tried around, I tried some brass black because I was trying to blacken the whole thing and then sand off the, the surface to make it shiny and give that contrast to the black lettering and the design. And um, I just couldn't get quite the right enough contrast. It didn't get the brass black enough to really make that work. I went back to just using a paint, um, uh, just using an acrylic craft paint to fill in the uh, design and then you kind of squeegee off the paint best you can, let it dry and then sand lightly on it and uh, and clean up the surface. And then I went back in and did some uh, antiquing sort of uh, effects so that uh, in the end it was really the design that I had been looking for. I really wanted to get uh, sort of an old old world looking thing but a truly etched design and um, finally had success. So I wanted to share that with you guys and uh, my little project is one thing after another coming along and um, this is the next the next level piece here. So that's what I've got for you today. I finally solved the brass etching hassle that I was going through. It's really the reason I bought this uh, laser engraver. It's an Atom Stack M40. I uh, really like it. It's it's fun to use and did the cutouts on eighth inch wood just easy as could be. Yeah, but I really wanted to do this tag process. And at first I thought I was going to do all kinds of different design work with it, which I might. But I had so much trouble getting just one tag done. I thought, that's great. That's what I really wanted it for. And the rest is just bonus. So we're having fun out here. Stay tuned. We'll give you some more updates. Take care now.